Hi, this is Margaret from dataminingdna.com and I'm going to upload my raw DNA data into GetMatch. So I have my raw DNA data that I downloaded from Ancestry. It's in a local folder on my laptop and I'm going to go to the GetMatch site. It actually redirects you to their login page. So just find the registration link down here. Click here to register at the main site. So I'm going to enter in first and last name. I do like using an alias. I'll just use mags. The email address that you enter here is displayed to your matches. If you're using an optional alias so that you're not using a full name, you don't want to use Margaret O'Brien at your address dot com. So you may want to set up a dedicated email that is slightly anonymous for use here. I'm going to show you what I mean by when I say it displays email addresses. I remember then the first time I used GetMatch, I signed up and then looked at my matches. I was quite shocked to see everybody's emails there. Okay, so I need a password and register. So I just shuttle up now to my email. So I've got an email that's come in from Get match with my. If you think this looks like it's straight out of the 1980s in terms of a look and feel, yeah, I mean, it was actually it was built by someone, I think, in their garage. And then it's been bought out by you know, a large company. They just haven't changed the look and feel of it. Okay, so I've successfully registered. I'm going to log in. This is the terms of service and privacy policy. When I said I was surprised when I first used this site maybe three years ago, to be fair, they had it right here in their terms of service that the email, your email address and name will be displayed. I'm going to accept and now I want to upload my data. So over here on the right, I have a link to upload raw DNA data and they're calling it generic uploads. And they do list ancestry DNA amongst the options. So just it's the same link for most uploads. So if you're coming over from Ancestry, just click on this link, generic uploads. Don't be too confused by this. So you've already downloaded your DNA data. They do provide instructions. Got it. The name of the donor is me. My alias. Now what is your mitochondrial haplogroup? I don't know. You don't need to bother filling that in. Males only well, this isn't for me. If you coming over from Ancestry, this really doesn't matter. Name of testing company, drop down, just go find your testing company and marvel at all the other testing companies that you've never heard of. <laughs> okay, I'm agreeing that the raw data is mine. Okay, so this is my DNA. So, this is important. In terms of your what you're opting into, so this kit will be shown in match results for all of the kits in the database. So this is what I am looking to do with get match. I do want to see my matches, and I want my matches to see me. This is the part that you need to make a decision on. Your DNA will be shown in match results for all of the kits in the database, except for kits identified as being uploaded by law enforcement representatives. So you just need to think about that and whether you want to opt out of this or not. Just trying to think. So I'm opting in just for everybody. Yeah, they've, they've worded this pretty poorly. If you select that, it's like I'm opting out of this. If you're opting out of this exception, then surely you're opting into it. <laughs> they have worded that pretty poorly. In, in my um, in my opinion, but just be aware that if you do not want to have your DNA included in forensic investigations by law enforcement representatives by default, you need to click this selection. Personally, I don't have a problem with it, so I am going to take this selection. And now we need to find the kit. I'm just going to click browse. Here we go. So this is the file exactly as it how it came down from Ancestry. And then click upload. 
Now I've already done this, and if I did it again, it would you know it wouldn't break, but it would, it would mean that my matches will see me doubled. They'll be getting two matches that are exactly you know, to the same DNA, and it, it's just annoying. So I'm not going to go through with this. Okay, that's it. That's the upload. Best of luck with your research.